What's going on everyone? Hope you're doing well as usual. This is Liam from Teal and today we're bringing back some ChatGPT stuff and we're going to talk about how you can use ChatGPT to act as kind of your resume review tool. Your resume is the biggest thing that makes or breaks it when it comes to you getting an interview. So it is important to spend some time on it. Review your resume before you submit it. Definitely get a second set of eyes on it if you can. If you don't have anybody nearby or you don't want to bother somebody, which is totally fair, you can use ChatGPT and that's kind of our angle that we're going at today. It can give you feedback. It can give you improved versions on some of your resume sections. It's pretty cool. So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to work on is our professional summary, which is right here at the top of our resume, this nice little paragraph, which is, as it sounds, kind of a career summary. The idea here is that a hiring manager can quickly read this through and get an idea of who we are as a career person, some of our top skills and notable achievements. Now, over here in ChatGPT, we do have a prompt, which is based on my experience as a role. What are some key skills I should highlight in my resume summary? Obviously, role is just a placeholder, so we want to put in our actual title and definitely feel free to try this a couple different times. If your title has some different variations or if you're going after multiple titles, just swap that title out to get some different results. But right below our prompt, go back to your resume builder, ideally the teal resume builder, copy your whole resume and paste it in below ChatGPT's prompt and hit run. Alrighty, we have our results here. Now, this is a list of the keywords that we want to have show up in our professional summary. Obviously, Tina Miller, teal's demo job searching candidate is a marketing manager. So this applies. Then from here, your job is to make sure that these keywords show up in your professional summary summary. Let's go here in our teal resume builder to our professional summary section. This is the current one we have running. So we're going to click edit. If we look right here, expertise in SEO, which is true, but digital marketing expertise, let's go ahead and swap that out since that's going to apply better to this particular job we're applying for. And just this whole last sentence here, we have a list of more skills. Let's go ahead and swap this out for campaign management and optimization. And with that, we have some of our industry key skills worked into our professional summary, which is going to just reinforce our experience just that much better. We're going to go ahead and save our professional summary one more way, an alternative way you can do that. We're going to go ahead and add a professional summary. If you're a Teal Plus member, you can just generate with AI. And as you can see, the tool just takes a second, looks through the content of your resume and writes out a really strong professional summary. And if you have a job attached in matching mode, it'll cater that professional summary to the job description. One of the really awesome things that you get with the Teal Plus subscription. So check it out. But I think that's it for a professional summary. Let's move on. The next part of our resume we're going to review is our resume bullet points or achievements, as we like to call them, since the idea here is that you aren't just relisting responsibilities and what you got up to, but instead you want to show your accomplishments, what you succeeded at, what you value you brought to the company. And this is another place where you can generate these with AI if you're a Teal Plus member. But to stick with the ChatGPT theme here, we are still going to review these. So in ChatGPT, our prompt is going to be accomplishment plus measurable outcome at my last job. How can I make this achievement more quantifiable in my resume. Now that might seem confusing. We do have an example here. So our actual example to try to give some more reference is going to be, I was in charge of posting to social media at my last job. How can I rephrase this achievement to start with a strong action verb? Please include examples of quantifiable metrics. Now for this specific prompt, we're not referencing your resume at all. This is just going to get you thinking of the right types of achievements to write. So as you can see, ChatGPT has generated 10 ideas of really awesome social media related achievements. And what you want to do here is either copy all of these back to the Teal Resume Builder so you have them all saved in one place. Or if just reading these achievements gets you thinking in the right idea, you can just go ahead and add an achievement and start writing your own. Just for reference, we're going to copy a bunch of these back over to Teal. And there we go. Four should be good. And once again, the thing to focus on here is not necessarily the specific results from ChatGPT, but how ChatGPT is framing these achievements. If we look at our achievement right here, if we go ahead and click edit, manage and optimize social media content, resulting in a 20% growth in followership over a six month period. This achievement shows action with managing and optimizing social media content, a success metric resulting in a 20% growth in followership, an actual number based metric, which is a must and a time based statement. This is the type of framework you want to present your achievements in. If you're here in the Teal Resume Builder writing your own and you go over here to the right side where you see guidance, you can click assistant and right here, step one, two and three. What did you do? What metric did you improve and in what time span? And then three, connect your action to strategy. This framework is meant to walk you through thinking about your achievement and thinking about presenting it in the best way. Now, we actually have a second prompt for you to try out when it comes to reviewing your resume bullets here in ChatGPT, considering my background as a previous role, are there any common achievements I might be overlooking in my resume. We are going to go ahead and swap out that placeholder detail and go down. And for this instance, we do want to copy in our resume. 
Now, taking a look at the results, this is basically one massive list that ChatGPT has deemed as notable accomplishments to show up in your resume. Now, like we talk about a lot with achievements, it's kind of hard to show specific examples. So our idea here is that this is just to get you thinking in the right type of idea, and then you can apply this type of thinking to your career, your experience, and your industry. Anything that pops up here in ChatGPT, if you've got experience in it, make sure it pops up in your resume. And those changes and upgrades to your resume is just going to give you a notch up in resume impact and really show your value that you can bring in whatever position you're going for. Now, the next thing we're going to do is compare how our resume stacks up against a job description. A job description really is just a company writing out what they're looking for in a new employee, and you can use ChatGPT to analyze the requirements of the role that you want to see how your resume showcases your proficiency in those areas. The biggest thing we're looking for here is keywords. If you haven't heard people say this before, when it comes to your resume, when it comes to your LinkedIn, keywords are king. And you want to make sure that you have the keywords from the job description show up in your resume so it stands out to recruit recruiters and hiring managers. Let's go ahead and move our save job over here to the right. Now in ChatGPT, our prompt is going to be based on this job description. What key responsibilities should I demonstrate experience in my resume? Now for this prompt, we do need the job description. So we're going to go down a couple lines in ChatGPT. And over here on the right, we have our saved job in the teal job tracker. And we're going to highlight the whole thing here. We're going to copy it. And back in ChatGPT, we're gonna paste and hit run. Now taking a look at the results, we have a massive list of keywords here. What are they? These are keywords that are emphasized in the job description for the job we're after. Depending on the type of role here, we have a digital marketing manager. So we're gonna be looking for things like, yep, team leadership. That's something that we definitely wanna emphasize with our resume. But now that you know the keywords, your job is to make sure that they show up in your resume. We have been doing that so far this video. So this is honestly something that you could do first before diving into the specific sections. But if you have a great achievement that you've already written and you're just looking to spruce it up a bit, or maybe you're happy with your resume, you think it's good, it probably is, but you just wanna make sure that it's good, not just in general, but good for this specific job that you're after. That's where this list comes in. So make sure that you see all of these keywords or at least most of them show up in your resume resume, in your professional summary, in your achievements. If there's nothing that can directly apply to either of those, you can always add them to your skills section, but don't just make this a dumping ground for keywords. That's not really going to help. There are two more ways that you can do this a lot quicker and right within Teal. If we expand out our resume and then go over here to matching mode, once again, you can attach a job to your resume. So let's go over here and switch out the job. And you'll notice right below this, you have this list of keywords and then a status symbol. What this tool does is all the manual work for you. It finds the keywords from the job description. It tells you if they're already in your resume or not and gives you a score on how matched your resume is to that job description. If we scroll down here so far, not too bad. We have some things missing. We have some things included. A bunch of missing things here. Okay, that's where the 24% is coming from. And if we highlight over the red X, we'll see that the keyword was not found in your work history. What's the work history? That's this entire level left-hand section. So maybe you had it in achievement or a professional summary that you had turned off. If we scroll back up here, that's what this icon means. Keyword is available in your work history, but is not active in your resume. Or if it is in your work history and active in your resume, it's going to be a green check. That's one more really easy way to do it all within Teal that doesn't require ChatGPT. One more way as well, if we go over here to our job tracker, and you'll notice right here, all of these highlighted words and this list of keywords right here on the right side, that's that. Again, when you save a job to your Teal job tracker, you can see here we have a bunch of saved jobs. The tool automatically scans the job description and highlights those things for you. So you can see we have a section of hard skills, a section of soft skills, and that's just one more really easy way where you can get a list of keywords from a job description. Maybe it's not even a job that you're planning on applying to. Maybe you're thinking about a career pivot and you just want to know the keywords from a job you're after so you can start to plan for the future. This is a great way to do it. Save the job with the Chrome extension and look through all the highlighted keywords, but especially if it is a job Job that you're planning on applying to and you are working on your resume, that is another great way to do it. As you can see, there is a lot of detail work when it comes to your resume, getting on the keywords, tailoring it for each job you apply to. And it probably seems like a lot. It definitely is. But the more you do this, the faster you'll get. And if this is what gets you an interview, I mean, it's all worth it, right? You got to get the interview before you get the job. But with that being said, that's going to do it for today. So take care, everyone, and we will see you back here very soon.